my dear children, I feel so blessed to be with you on this holiest of holiestesses. Amen. For it is through you that I feel the power of the Spirit. And it's through me that I will hook you up to that sweet, sweet nectar of celestial love. Oh, Lord. That Lord has provided me, his lowly servant, the perception to see through you and the message to preach it to you. For as it says in the good book, Philusians. Chapter 13, verse 8. And the servant of God will come to his flock in their most needy of times and deliver unto them what they seek. Did you get that, Sister Margaret? I sure hope you did, because we're talking about your soul here. I don't know what you do that makes you so doggone tired where you not off during my holiest of holiest sermons. But you best get yourself together now, because the Lord is trying to get in. But Lord knows your snores is keeping him out. Now, where were we? Oh yes, as I was so eloquently stating, the Lord has provided me so that you might be risen up to his glory. Amen. Amen. Now, which one of you precious little lambs has the courage to come up here and lay your troubles onto me? Oh yes, child. Come up here and lay your burdens onto me. Um, um, my, my name is... Oh. Um, my, my name is Alice, and um, I've always been an A student. I'm taking all the honors classes. I'm even on the principal's list, but I... But what, child? I, I've never been able to find a man. Nothing seems to pan out. Every time I think I found the one, it ends in heartbreak. Pastor, what do I do? Oh, Lord. Keep me from smiting the men who have forsaken this sweet young thing. Every day she works to gain wisdom for her future, and you don't even think to give her a chance. What is your malfunction that causes you to cause pain to this faithful member of my congregation? So, um, getting back to my... Fear not, child! For the answer is right in the most sacred of texts. Pelagios, chapter 7, verse 5. And she that cannot attract thine desired hunk of thine eye must beautify her figure. I'll repeat that for Sister Margaret, who once again dozed off during my congregation. And she that cannot attract thine desired hunk of thine eye must what? must beautify her figure. Really? Oh yes, child. Come and let me cleanse your soul for the Lord. Oh Lord, put a blessing on this woman. Let her have some sex appeal. Give her the most fashionable clothes, the cutest shoes, the best foundation, the best hair extensions, the most vibrant jewelry, the most luscious lipstick, and the most magnificent handbag. Let her have these things, Lord, so that she might attract a man with the charm, a man with the body, a man with some money in the bank. Amen! Go forth and conquer the man you seek in glorious triumph for the Lord. Oh, children, this reminds me of a truly special passage that I am blessed to be able to or take to you today. You bubba this. Chapter 3, verse 33. And the awesome power of God will come and be manifested in his people through a magnificent avatar of faith. And thou beest be cleansed from their lives. <sighs> Let those in need of guidance from the Spirit come and be blessed by me, the magnificent avatar of this community. Hallelujah! Come and stand before the sigil of our holiest Father and proclaim your troubles unto me. What is your name, sweet child? Uh, Susan Perry. Well, sweet little Susan Perry, what lays so heavy on this heart of yours on this blessed day? Well, I work in a marketing department for my company. I always try my best, but I just feel so underappreciated. I feel like my boss isn't using me. I just, I just need some recognition, some respect. 
Oh Lord! Keep me from striking down those who would attack this lamb of my flock. Help me up, child, so that I might put a blessing unto thee. Oh Lord! Put a blessing on this woman. Let your glory cover her in an aura of protection. And if any dare violate this shield of faith, I humbly ask that you rain fiery judgment onto them. Um. Let them be assailed by cosmic justice. Strike them down with divine retribution. Besiege them with holy fire. Devastate them with celestial power. Destroy them with sacred armament. Let their screams be heard throughout creation and their souls be damned to burn through all eternity. Amen and hallelujah. That was a magnificent sermon if I do say so myself. Before I let you go on this blessed day, I ask that you do one thing for me. Release yourself from this mortal plane and become one with the body of Christ. Feel the power of the angel songs flow through you. Feel the Lord's glamour and glory through magnificent vibration of praise and chant. Do you feel it, children? The Spirit of God is in us today. Let it take over you. Just let it flow through you. Oh, let us sing his praise, oh my precious flock. Let us sing here tonight. She did my money with another me. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger way over town. That digs on me. She take my money. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger. Never need. But she ain't messing with no broke the broke. She take my money. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger. Never need. But she ain't messing with no broke the broke. I gotta leave. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down. I gotta leave. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down. I gotta leave. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down. I gotta leave. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down.